Hey guys, uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about today's uh, EPL slate, May 11th. Um, it's actually a good uh, middle of the week sizable slate for EPL. Um, some of these games are from the ones uh, from the time when they had to reschedule some of these games for COVID reasons and for other reasons. But yeah, it's, it's going to be an exciting uh, matchup here. Um, it is a main city slate, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> especially after Liverpool uh, won their game yesterday. Uh, you know, the pressure is on Man City to at least, you know, finish with a tie or a win, but they're playing against the Wolves and the Man City is a heavy favorite on the road. But yeah, so let's just go into uh, each matchup one by one and I'll share my predictions and then the core player pool that I like. Um, so the first matchup on the <clears throat> slate is Leeds United versus Chelsea. Um, Chelsea is a slight favorite on the road. I'm just I'm just a little surprised why Chelsea is not a bigger favorite. Um, I know Leeds is trying to get out of the relegation zone, so maybe at home they're gonna try their best to get a good result against Chelsea. But Chelsea also has motivation to win here. I mean, they need to win or tie to stay in the top four which, you know, obviously would qualify them for the Champions League. Um, I know Tottenham and probably not Man U, but Tottenham is chasing them, Chelsea and Arsenal. So really it's critical for Chelsea to get a good result here today. And I know Chelsea is dealing with some uh, injuries, but so it's Leeds. So I just think Chelsea is going to win this game. Um, Chelsea should win this game. They're a better team. Leeds defense is very leaky. So, yeah. So what do, who do I like on Chelsea? Yeah, I mean, Chelsea at all, all stars with Mason Mount and then their fullbacks. Um, really, that's all you have to kind of know for optimal settings. Chelsea, Mount, and then whoever stars on the fullback positions, especially Reese James. I know Marco Alonso is doubtful. Um, if he is out and then Chilwell is out, then I don't know who's going to start on the other side of the, um, you know, on the wing. But if this is how the starters come out, yeah, I mean, I would definitely prioritize Mount and James. And then everybody else is really doing GPP, especially the strikers. I would definitely try to have one of the two strikers um, that are starting. And whoever is priced lower, that's probably who I'm going to play. Um, it's not like Lukaku has been in better, much better form than Havertz. Havertz has shown that he can score two or three goals at times as well as Lukaku. So really whoever is priced lower, whoever starts up top between Havertz, Lukaku, Werner, um, really depends on who's going to start. And then in the midfield position, the central midfield position, I'm not too interested unless you need some salary relief for GPP purposes. But I do think it's a favorable favorable matchup for Chelsea. I think Chelsea will is in a good spot to create a lot of scoring chances against the leaky Leeds defense. So I definitely will have some Chelsea pieces today. And then on the lead side, I'm not usually in favor of anybody other than maybe Rafinha, but I think he's still too expensive for the matchup that he's going to be in against Chelsea. Chelsea is going to be dominating the possession, in my opinion. So I, I think I'm just going to fade all leads United today. And then the next matchup on the slate is Leicester City versus Norwich City. This is kind of like a shit matchup. I mean, Leicester, I know. Uh, doesn't really have enough like they like neither team has a reason to play hard like Leicester does not have any space where uh, have any reason to go up in the standings I, I mean they're most likely they're just gonna finish in the middle of the pack right the season and then Norwich is at the bottom <laughs> the last spot they're gonna get relegated unfortunately um, Norwich and Wofford are sitting at like 21 and 22 points uh, respectively and you know, they're very far away from, you know, getting out of their relegation zone. So I just feel like Norwich is not going to try as hard. I mean, you see both of their teams, like these results, like it's a shit game. <laughs> Look how many games they've lost Norwich, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the last nine or, or eight out of 10, I guess. And then uh, Leicester City has been in poor form as well. So I think that's just going to be a shit matchup. Just think you do like they're not gonna try it very hard and so i may just fade this matchup completely unless i get some value from like let's say madison 
uh, from the Leicester side. So it'll be Madison. If he starts, he didn't start the last game. And then Dewsbury Hall and Telemans and Barnes, maybe. Um, and then Norwich City, yeah, I mean, it could be, let's see, Rashika, Gilmore, and then maybe one of the fullbacks here. But I, mean, I just feel like it's not going to be a good matchup here. Um, but I do think Leicester City should win this matchup at home. And then Watford versus Everton. This this has a more uh, like a reason to try for Everton, I think. Everton is very close to being relegated. You see there at 35 points. Um, so if they lose this, yeah, I mean, that could that could, def- that could definitely put them in danger zone um, where they're fighting against Burnley and Leeds to not get relegated. So I think Everton is going to try very hard. And Watford is really, like I said, just like Norwich, um, they're going to get relegated. So I think I just think Everton is going to have have more of a reason to try hard here. Um, and Everton is a better team, in my opinion, um, even though the results probably indicate Actually, Watford has been really bad. So, yeah, Everton should win this matchup, even though they're on the road. Um, for Everton, it starts with Anthony Gordon and Damari Gray on the uh, on wide out positions. Um, and then maybe Richard, Richarlison for GPP purposes, but it starts with Gordon and Gray. So I would definitely have Gordon and Gray in some of my lineups. Um, but at the, after that, I mean, everybody else is GPP purposes. Mike Dolenko, I think he started he started and then scored a goal last game. But um, yeah, I think he's, he's actually in play. So I definitely prefer Gordon and Gray. And then after that, maybe Richarlison and Mike Dolenko. And then for Watford, if you think Watford will show up for whatever reason, it all starts with Saar and Dennis. Saar and Dennis here. So those are the two guys that I'd be interested in. And then Man City, like I said, is the heavy favorite. And I mean, their ownership will go through the roof here on the slate. Um, They're playing on the road against Wolverhampton. Um, They're a huge favorite. And like I said, Man City is kind of, uh, you know, they have to win. They're tied up now with Liverpool, but they're a game behind. So um, they will most likely try to give out their best lineup here today. So it obviously it starts with Kevin De Bruyne and then Mares, De Bruyne, Mares, and then Foden starts. Foden could um, definitely get into my optimal lineup, but try to stack as many Man City pieces today if you are playing cash or optimal uh, lineups or a single entry um, because I think Man City will bring the thunder today, <laughs> um, so to speak. I think they're going to try to score two, three goals um, I know the, on the, on the goal difference, look at this 89, 89. So, uh, I mean, like either team, like Man City and Liverpool, they're going to both have to try to not only win, but score as many as po- many goals as possible. So I do think Man City has a good matchup. I know Wolverhampton has not been that bad. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just getting some just decent results, but I don't think they're going to be a, you know, they're not going to fare well against Man City. So, Man City, like I said, De Bruyne, Mares, and then after that, whoever starts up top, because I think they're going to score a lot of goals, Jesus or Sterling or Foden. And then after that, it could be Cancelo, Silva, um, and then Zinchenko for maybe like an assist upside. But really, like I said, I mean, Man City, really, it's an open match. Um, I think man, uh, GPP purposes, you can play anybody, try to stack you know, as many as you can. I know Rodri is cheap, but um, so he'll probably his ownership is probably going to be high, I think. And then for the Wolves, yeah, I mean, it starts with um, it actually doesn't start with anybody because they're playing against Man City and Man City will dominate the possession. So Wolverhampton, I'll just be interested in maybe Jimenez, maybe Moutinho, but that's about it because they're not going to get have the ball um, to create a lot of scoring chances. So. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If I was the starters come out, as always, I will chime in um, if there are any significant changes. So yeah, good luck, everybody. And yeah, enjoy. Bye.